Exclusive tonight from the ABC7i team, a pair of new number ones, the Fed's new top drug agent in Chicago, and the drug lord, he says, is Chicago's new public enemy number one. The interview tonight with investigative reporter Chuck Gowdy. Chuck. Cheryl, Chicago's new number ones are on opposite sides of the law. The new number one federal drug enforcement agent, Brian McKnight, arriving here as overdoses are at an all-time high and city street gangs do the violent bidding for Mexico's drug bosses. And now McKnight says there is a new public enemy number one in Chicago who is quickly taking over one of the world's most lucrative drug cities. This is the real business of the cartels right here. Follow the money, you take their money, you, you quickly find out whose money it actually is. From his office high above Federal Plaza in downtown Chicago, new Drug Enforcement Administration <laughs> special <laughs> agent in charge Brian McKnight says the money trail points a new direction. Even though the villainous kingpin El Chapo Guzman is still pictured on DEA's lobby wall, McKnight says there is a new public enemy number one in Chicago. But what we're seeing now is the new generation. Uh, cartel, very violent cartel being run by uh, an individual by the name of El Mencho, Ruben Cervantes, who, by the way, has a $5 million State Department award on his, on his head. He, he's a person that we, we would consider as public enemy number one, yes. When El Chapo was Chicago's top enemy, his Sinaloa cartel for decades controlled 80% of the city's illicit drugs. Now with Chapo locked up and awaiting trial in New York, McKnight says this man, known as El Mencho, and his new generation cartel have taken over a sizable chunk of Chicago's drug trade. DEA investigators suspect the cartels cut some kind of deal to avoid a hostile takeover and a bloodbath. El Mencho, already under U.S. indictment in D.C., is thought to be directing his cartel from a mountain hideout in Mexico. He's the next Chapo Guzman. He, he's a very powerful trafficker in Mexico, and he has cells all over the world, just like Chapo had when he was operating uh, with impunity. They have cells all over Chicagoland. The 55-year-old McKnight comes to Chicago by way of DEA headquarters in Washington, where he recently oversaw agency misconduct investigations. But he cut his teeth as a federal drug agent in Miami and New York, taking down top South American and Mexico operatives the past two decades, precisely the role he sees for himself in Chicago. Chicago is, is a target-rich environment for the Mexican cells. It's... Uh, it has a huge distribution network that expands out all throughout the Midwest. The biggest concern I have is the increase in, in the overdose deaths in the city, in Chicagoland. Uh, there's a big increase. The fentanyl and the heroin that's being brought in by the Mexican traffickers. Then, matter-of-factly, a stunning reality. Probably more people are going to die of uh, opioid-related overdose deaths. You could, you could fill a football stadium. The opioid epidemic prompted a recent push by President Trump and his attorney general to impose the death penalty on drug dealers. I would say on a case-by-case -case basis, if a, dr a drug trafficker is selling drugs and there's a death-resulting overdose related to that direct connection, then it's, it's incumbent upon the investigative agency, DEA or the state and locals, to bring that case to the United States Attorney's Office McKnight is asking for more immediate relief. In his first few days, a request to Washington for 16 additional DEA agents in Chicago, he says already approved by D.C. Things are so bad, his office could use another 50 special agents, he says. That is unlikely, though, as DEA nationally is down right now a total of 500 agents. The new generation cartel, not nearly as benign as the name sounds. All right, Chuck, mm -hmm. thank you.